Good morning, guys. So, basically, it's a mess right now because I'm preparing breakfast and everything. But this is the regular rent apartment, rent three bedrooms in Canada. Mostly, or mostly, every place in Canada, the apartment looks the same. Correct me, you guys, if I'm mistaken. So. So this, I'm going to shame this, this is falling down. The good thing about Canada is when you're renting, you can receive the services to repair everything that you have broken or you, it was, wasn't your fault. Because believe it or not, this wood is cheap. They take the cheapest stuff, but Nowadays you have included the microwave, the kitchen, you have included the fridge, the dishwasher, the laundry is downstairs, but this is the wall, you have one closer here, it's one washroom, bathroom, shower one room this my son is bed it's big right in his closet it's a mess right now and second room my mother in law sleeping this is the third room master room my wife sleeping come with that watch her right there see that's me so everybody's sleeping because I wake up every day at 6, 5 a.m. But I needed to show you the fast video. See, it's a kind of big. We paying right now with the old contract 2,900 per month. But trust me, this three bedroom right now in Toronto, North York is about 3,500. Yes. One bedroom is going to be basically the same, but you're going to be paying 2400 Yes, as you heard, 2400 You ask me because we have our, our contract. Two bedrooms about 3900 what I'm paying right now. I'm paying, we're paying right now. And you can, my recommendation, don't get a lot of stuff what we have because it's pretty pretty big right so all oh, you have the view down there they fix and they're going to do, do some constructions the water tires or my tire for regular season so they'll get a lot of stuff bicycle over there the the table don't get a lot of stuff because if you would like to move you don't want to be moving with a lot of stuff my recommendation don't buy in canada do not i repeat do not buy in canada it's not recommended people will tell you mortgage guys real estate buy 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 because you're going to make a profit my recommendation mine personally don't Buy in Canada, so you know, it's playing a second wife. Look at that construction. You're going to put in the middle there uh, that's the parking lot, community center begin, and everything pool inside pool, more construction. And we have here the amusement park. We're going to be building more. So, why I recommend not to buy in Canada? Simple capital gain the capital gain oh if I buy I'm not going to sell yes if you want let's say you want to sell your house or your or your condo or whatever first of all the interest rate in mortgage is too high second <clears throat> second 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 is too pricey let's say you wanted to sell your house right but a pretty first of all why they created the capital gain the capital gain is to uh, a percentage of a tax that the government put on you to pay them once you sell your property. 
used to be 50%, yes, I feel her, it's 50%, but nowadays it's 67%, 60%. Yes, why? Because the government wants to prevent that you get ultra rich from your properties because they cannot regulate your property sale. The way you sell your stuff or your property, the way they did basically is okay, let's put a tax on it. Yes, let's say you're making, you're selling your house or your condo for one million, they get most of the house, they have 67% from that million. That's why a lot of people, that's why the main reason why everything is expensive in Canada. They wanted to sell a house for $5 million. Yes, yes. $5 million for a house. Sounds so strange. Why? Because they can make a profit on it. And let's say I sell the house for $5 million. I need to give 66% to the government. $2 million on something for me. You see now the math? Simple, right? That's the main reason. Um, who going to buy a house that you can get in a state of other planet and you heard for six million dollars that is a um, box of matches? The right to rent, that's what we do. So my recommendation was do the investment. Investment in stocks. Something like that, but if you become Canadian, that 66% goes to the government too. Ooh, that's only if you would like to invest. My recommendation, don't invest here, try to invest in another planet. Canada is like that right now. What can we do? It's nothing to do. So, keep rolling. Keep rolling and thinking there's other way to make money here. But anyway, whatever income that you have above the $250,000, that's why the are wrong, but Freddie, it's only if you make $250,000. Of course, everything is more than $250,000 in Canada, whatever you want to sell. You want to sell a house, one million, boom. It's more than $300,000. What do you want it to be selling? $250,000 $250, for a property that you purchase in $400,000, you're going to be losing. There's no other way. With that money that you can invest, you can save it. Do investment in other places. Putting in secure accounts that can create free taxes, but you still you want to be paying a sum income tax. But like a, you are an employee, something like that, and you money. Other ways to do a business. A lot of people do businesses instead of living on rent, instead to buy a house. Why business? Because in the business you pay, produce, you pay all of the stuff, and you can create expenses that can deduct a lot of taxes. And that's it. What do people do in Canada? Renting, 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 renting. You don't have the American dream or Canadian dream that, oh, I need to buy a house, I need to buy a home. Don't do that. That's not real. I'm telling you. That's not real. So, Keep grinding and do a business, but don't buy properties in Canada, it's not recommended. So guys, this is my humble place when I live, big enough. Do the math. I'm paying per year like a 30,000 something, right? In 10 years, it's going to be almost $400,000. But a mortgage is more. You want to be paid for 20, 30 years, on four thousand dollars mm -mm. plus interest rates going on they say you don't like the place no more but you would like to move because the area became crazy not that attractive no more but you attached to that for 32 20 30 years plus so don't do it don't ever think about that okay i'll see you next video i'll show you more about canada